Harrison, and I got third place at the uh, the OTS Championship last weekend. Uh, I was playing Earth Machine. Uh, I think she's the best deck of the format. It was an off-meta pick. I'm not gonna lie. A just bodied people. It's great. Um, cool. So yeah, let's get into this. Yeah, no worries. Um, three copies of Harvester. This card's like your main one card starter. It gets you to uh, most things. Uh, the only thing it doesn't get you to is Zeus on its own anyway. Um, but that's fine, honestly. You search this off of like eight different cards and it gets you to pretty much everything you want to see. Uh, two Trencher. Uh, this card's just Reborn and you can summon it off of... Um, he uh, not Heavy Forward, uh, Urgent Schedule. So you can just basically do a full combo with these two going second. Uh, and then one copy of Dozer. This card's really good, but also really bad at the same time. Lock two into Earth Machine, so it just feels so bad, but so good at the same time. And then uh, one copy of Tunnel Earth. Um, the best super heavy card ever printed, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it draws two cards, uh, which is just crazy. But agreed. But agreed. It's broken, dude. Uh, the card should be banned, 100%. Uh, next, for the Machinus, we play three copies of Gear Frame. Uh, this is the normal summon that gets you to absolutely everything in the game. Um, every time that this resolved, I pretty much won the game on the spot. Uh, and then follow up with uh, one on class bar. You search this off of uh, this and it just summons and then sends your fortress, which gets you to pretty much everything you want to see. It's just incredible. It's a one card rank four, which just gets you everything. And then one copy of Citadel. Uh, this is like for recoverability, it's where I get you. Uh, it just literally makes games free. And then Rune Force, this, uh, this comes up to just make tens. It's a big body. Um, Sitting on this against Labyrinth, while they don't have an out, is great. They literally cannot do anything. Um, and then Regulus, Bullet Train, Derecrane uh, for the rest of the Earth Machines. Um, these two just are trains. They get you to your rank 10s. And then this is just an Omni game. You might as well, like, it's, a, it's a machine. Why would you not play it? Uh, and then one Jizakiru and one Gearbox. Uh, you add this off of um, Ballista, so you can get all your uh, like tunnels and trenches. And you basically can search this off of your Clefable Genius to just kite your opponent. Uh, uh, just wanted to ask, uh, do you not play Metal Cruncher? Uh, I don't. What, uh, what's the reasoning behind that? Just... Metal Cruncher is a big body that you can summon, but it, just, it feels so neg because it doesn't get you to anything on its own. Like everything else gets you to something on its own. Whereas Metal Cruncher is just like reveal free. Hope you hit the right one. I lose if you don't. It just feels kind of neg, whereas these ones just all go plus. Fair enough. And then hand traps, three ash, two valor. Uh, this is here pretty much to be any sort of like rogue and whatnot. And this just beats branded on its own. Um, I heard there was a combo that plays through ash. I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are the only hand traps you play. And then spells, three redeployment, three heavy forward, three urgent schedule. Uh, this gets you all your Machinas, this gets you all your Infinity Tracks, and this gets you full combo going second. Uh, it also gets you trains, because you can send off a Zeus and add a train, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, these cards just all do everything. Um, every time one of these got ashed, I had the second one and it just didn't matter. Like, activate Heavy Forward, get ashed, add, activate this, add two. Activate this, use this. It just, it, usually one gets followed up by the other, because they come in pairs, it's great. Uh, two Disc Coliseum. Uh, I opted for this over Tactics because this forces immediate interaction because it threatens Regulus immediately after. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'd play Tactics for any other thing, but I just wanted a way to force interaction that got me in the gate if it didn't get interacted with. And uh, then Feather Duster. Um, this made Labyrinth free. I played Labyrinth twice and I drew it every game. I literally <laughs> drew it every game and I lost. Uh, called by. Um, just called by. Please buy this card. Um, and then two books. Uh, it's Beats of Rise Heart, pretty much exclusively. Um, like, yeah, uh, that's that's it for the spells. And then one copy of Overdrive. Uh, this card's crazy. Just uh, Avarice and a Intelligent Death is really good. And then three copies of Empire. Uh Also, just Beats of Rise Heart. It's a hand trap going second. It's just a crazy card in general. Um, Did you not opt to play the um, the endless Argyro system thing that you uh, send off? Nah. nah. Just it for just, the re recurability or not? Uh, nah, it just didn't feel right because you can recur everything else. You just don't really care about regulars to pass turn three. Also, bullet trains add it. Uh, bullet trains. Oh yeah, bullet train so, adds yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. it, just, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then extra deck, you play three copies of Goliath. I made every single one of these pretty much every game to put enough resources into tunnel to draw two. Uh, yeah, this card's just nuts. Also, putting this under a Zeus uh, means I can't dark hole it. It's great. Uh, one copy of Ballista. Uh, really cool thing with this is 
is you kaiju a monster, set a card, ballista type, set a kaiju zero, and then just poke for game. Uh, it's very fun. Uh, Anger Knuckle is crazy for just summoning back tens, making rank tens. Platinum Gadget helps you make combos turn one. This card like really sucks because it's hard to out if you don't open exactly like two two falls um, to summon. But yeah. uh, and then Genius, uh, you can trigger this to search guys. Uh, it's unaffected by spell traps and links. So uh, yeah, it's just kind of free. And it, uh, is it triggers off urgent schedule as well? Uh, yeah, it triggers off urgent. Schedule. Aye, it's spicy. Uh, and then you play Gigan. Uh, this card's crazy. Um, basically, just adds the tunneler or the box depending on what you want, um, which is just nuts. Uh, then one copy of Riverstormer. Um, this card's really good, but I was considering playing two before the OTS. I didn't end up playing two because this card's really good, but also really bad at the same time. Because it's like summon it back, and then you just sat there with a the defense position exceeds, which just doesn't do anything. So, yeah, but it gets you regular. So, uh, a Rise Heart. This card you can make with um, Harvester, target any of the five plus Fortress, or um, like, that's pretty much the only way you make it, but this card's crazy. So, like, why, why would I not play it? It's mm. Macrocosmos on legs is crazy. Uh, that's Slicer. This won me like two games against Branded and Labyrinth because I popped two cards, uh, which is just enough against those decks. Uh, Who's Death Max? Um, time was never pulled on me, but you know, this card's great. You can just burn them for 2k, smack a lead on top, and attack the game. Uh, Superdora is just one of your endboard pieces that you can make in defense and then just target and make an unaffected regular. Uh, lead, OTKs, clears boards, it's crazy. And then Zeus. This is one of your main turn one plays, which is hilarious. I find it so funny that you can just make this turn one of the deck with four materials and blow people out. It's great. That is spicy. So just 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 before you you go on, do you not think to play the um the new five that came out of Sayak? The I think it's the Road Roller. Uh no, Road Roller just it felt kind of bad to play because I did testing with it and I do have one. It just it wasn't good enough. Every time I'd send it, it just felt so neg, and every time I wouldn't send it, I missed it. So it was just like, why would I play that when I can play other options that do more and have an extra slot in the main deck, essentially? Makes sense. Uh, and then side deck, we just played generic blowout cards for the format. Uh, three copies of Droll. Um, this card came up pretty much every every match, except for Labyrinth. Like, this was the only, that was the only deck that didn't lose to this. Uh, Dragon Link is free because of this card. Same for this one. Uh, Nib is just a blowout against Dragon Link. Uh, and I also Nib the Soul Top player, so that's fine. And uh, one other kaiju, because I was scared of Pearly, and you can pretty much outgrind Pearly to a point where you can just draw a kaiju, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then three copies of Dark Ruler because it blows out pretty much every deck except for Pearly, which is fine. Uh, two Cosmics. Um, I don't like Labyrinth, uh, but this card just beats Labyrinth, so it's fine. And then three copies of Evenly to be like Trap Tricks, Labyrinth, those sort of decks, because uh, it's just a blowout. Uh, you wanted as many blowouts as possible on the side. Um, also, cool thing you can do with Evenly is you Evenly them, and then you go uh, main phase two, do full combo, make Zeus with two, uh, four materials. Um, after using your battle phase, and then you can just put them in such a deficit that they just lose because you yeah. outgrind them like every turn. It's great. Uh, yeah, this deck is really powerful. Um, I think the only change I want to make potentially is the second regular to the main, but realistically, you don't need it because Bullet Train just does everything it wants to. So, yeah, uh, this was the deck that got me third place, uh, my first ever top. Uh, yeah, I was very, very pleased. Um, cool. Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! Uh, yeah. Any 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 shout outs before we uh, uh, depart? Shout out to the Geek Retreat uh, guys. They all helped me test for the uh, event with this uh, this pile of cards that I'm calling out machine. It's great, <laughs> great deck, uh, great guys, great times, great friends. Um, but yeah, and a couple of shout outs to my own channel, Smile. Um, that's King HB eleven twenty three. I just post like random deck profiles on there, um, just fun ones. Uh, that's that's like a bad hit. No worries, no uh, worries. Thank you. I put I I'll put your uh, channel in the description, yeah, folks. Make sure you thanks. subscribe. And, yeah, thank uh, you very much. Yeah, thank uh, you. And shout out to Jimothy for letting me hop on the channel for a depth profile. No worries, man. Safe. Anytime. Take it easy. Safe. Peace.